Hey guys, it's me Crystal from Marching North and today I'm going to show you how to make this large macrame wall hanging. You'll find the supply list in the description below and a link to the written tutorial down below as well. Fold the four 70 inch long pieces of rope in half and attach them to the dowel using lark's head knots. The two center cords will be right next to each other in the middle and then the left and right cords will be about four inches away on either side. Tie a square knot with the center cords right under the lark's head knots. Tie a square knot on the left side and the right side about four inches down from the first square knot. Tie one last square knot in the center about four inches down from the last two square knots. Now we're going to add the 24 pieces of 40 inch fringe. The upper sections will each get seven pieces of fringe and the two lower sections will get five pieces of fringe each. Add one of the 64 inch pieces onto the left side with a lark's head knot. You'll need to adjust it so the outer cord is even with the fringe pieces and the inner cord, which is going to be the filler cord, is way longer. Repeat that on the right side, but do it the opposite way. Now tie a row of double half hitch knots using the long cord on the right as the filler cord. Only use the fringe we added before this for the knots. Don't use the cords hanging behind the fringe from the square knots in the first section or it gets too crowded and it lays weird. Repeat that on the right side. For the last double half hitch knot, cross the two filler cords and use the filler cord on the left as the working cord and the filler cord on the right as the filler cord. Attach four of the 128 inch long ropes on the left and four on the right by folding them in half and tying a lark's head knot. Tie 23 rows of alternating square knots on each band. First you're going to start with two square knots at the top, then you'll do one square knot in the middle for the next row, and then two for the next row, and then continue that pattern for 23 rows. Now we're going to add the diamond shape in the center. Only use the front cords, don't use these four back cords for this. 
Grab the left center cord and we're going to tie three double half hitch knots going down and to the left. Now grab the right center cord and tie three double half hitch knots going down and to the right. On the left side, tie three more double half hitch knots going down and to the right. On the right side, tie three more double half hitch knots going down and to the left. Cross the two filler cords and tie one last double half hitch knot in the center using the right cord as the filler cord. Bring the two alternating square knot bands together and tie a square knot using the two right cords from the left band and the two left cords from the right band. Then tie a square knot between the two square knots on the left. You'll skip the first two cords. Do the same thing on the right, skipping the last two cords. Go back to the left side and tie a square knot between the knot we just tied a second ago and the center knot. Repeat that on the right side. Now tie one more square knot in the middle. Using the left cord as the filler cord, tie a row of double half hitch knots down the left side. Do the same thing on the right side. Join the two filler cords together using the right cord as the filler cord. Repeat that process again to make a second row of double half hitch knots. Now we're going to add the 34 inch long pieces of fringe to the loops on the sides of the alternating square knot bands using lark's head knots. There will be 23 pieces of fringe on each side. Two pieces will fit into each loop and then you can fit one more piece at the top under the lark's head knots. Here's how it's looking so far. You could stop here if you wanted to, but we're gonna add some extra side fringe and make it a little bit wider. 
Now we're going to attach the 47 inch long pieces of rope on each side to hold the outer fringe. First attach it on the left side with a lark's head knot. You'll want this side to be about 9.5 inches away from where the alternating square knot band is. Also, adjust the rope so the left side is about 8 inches long and the right side is much longer. Bring the right side of the rope behind the square knot band, flip it over the dowel and bring it through on the left side, and then you're going to wrap it behind and over the dowel, and you're going to pull the end down through the loop that is formed there, and that's going to create the other lark's head knot. Then you can tighten the cord on the right side and you can pull the cord on the left side out a little bit if you want and make it however you want it to be. Repeat that process in reverse on the right side. Time for more fringe. Attach 23 pieces of 16 inch fringe using Lars head knots onto both of the fringe hangers. Now we'll add the Raya knot in the middle of the diamond. First, you're going to untwist the three pieces of 20 inch long rope and then bundle them all together. You're going to thread the ends through the diamond on either side of the two center cords. You'll put the ends of the untwisted rope through on the left of the center cords, then you'll thread the other end through on the right of the center cords. Now bring the ends of the cords back through in the center. Adjust the knot so it looks nice and then trim the ends leaving them about 3 inches long. The last step is untwisting all the fringe. I just untwisted the fringe on the back two sides and then the front fringe and I left the very back center fringe alone. If you enjoyed this tutorial please leave a like and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more crafty tutorials and DIYs. Thanks for watching.